Hi, this is Eric with Cat Avenue. Today I'm going to show you our new upcoming AviCAD version called AviCAD 2020. As you can see, the interface is, is, is different here. Lots of new tools that you'll find, an upgraded interface, and today I'm going to show you the tool palettes. It's the most obvious change that you'll see. Tool palettes can be turned off or on, and they can be docked and so forth. Um, down here you'll see a little arrow indicator where you can view some of these pre-configured palettes that are shipping with our new version. Uh, here's electrical plants, mechanical, uh, but you can also create your own tool palette as well. Um, and I wanted to show you today how to do that. Let's go into uh, 3D view. I'm going to create a vessel here. A vertical vessel and for my insert point I'm going to type in 000 and I want a round base so that puts in my vessel at 000 this is a new command that you'll find in 2020 it's called quick block and we can just save these and then give it a name. And then we can go ahead and delete this block here. And let's go ahead and insert that new block we just made called Vessel. And I'm going to insert this at zero 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 uh, now click on this and over here you'll see block reference which basically tells you it's a block um, now right click on the menu here and choose new palette and we're gonna call this um, no vessels and that puts it here you can actually move these around as well in the menu. Um, now we have to save this drawing before we can add it into the tool palette or you'll get a, a warning error. So let's go ahead and do that. Um, so you'll notice over here as well, uh, there's some new things here in the menu. You can create digital signatures. You can also create favorite folders uh, such as project folders, uh, shortcuts uh, but let's go ahead and save this to uh, the vessel dwg here we'll just override it now we can simply take it and drag it into the new tool palette and then you'll see the name of that block there called vessel we can rename this as well if we wanted to uh, you can also um, give it a color so that it always comes you know, in as a certain color or by layer um, and so forth. And notice that it uh, has a source file, a vessel, on the desktop. Now if I delete that file by accident, it's not going to appear in the tool palette. So make sure that when you uh, create your tool palette that you use a folder that you know is not going to get deleted. So to use this, we can just simply click it and then it comes in at the 000, zero or where I actually saved that uh, block. And um, so hopefully this helps. Uh, if you're interested in upgrading uh, to the latest version of AviCAD, we're also um, automatically upgrading you to the 2020 when you do so, so that you could pre-order uh, AviCAD and get uh, 2019 uh, for now and then 2020 when it releases at no cost. Let me know if you have any questions about that and we'll talk to you in the next video.